Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven and welcome to Rage GTV. Rage GT, Rage GTV. <laughs> My version of HGTV because today we are going to be getting crafty. We're going to be getting DIY-y. We're going to be constructing and creating because we are going to be creating a custom playhouse for Zaya. So this playhouse idea is something that I brought up way before I even moved into this house because I was saying how I was excited to finally have my own backyard and finally have you know a playroom space and more space to do things like this for Zaya and get things like this for her and I was planning on getting her a playhouse and I really thought it would be cute for the playhouse to kind of look like and match our real house. So I brought it up on social media, I mentioned it to my mom but I didn't know that my mom was actually going to go ahead and buy a playhouse for Zaya this year for Christmas. So she went ahead and bought it as a surprise to me and it's going to be a surprise to Zaya. So she got this playhouse from Costco. It's just like your typical little kid's playhouse. It comes with wooden pieces, some plastic pieces. It's like gray and brown and red. Nothing wrong with it. I think any kid would love it, but it's not very like aesthetically pleasing, you know? So we have seen a lot of people on Pinterest, Instagram, all that stuff, taking playhouses like this and customizing them, repainting them, revamping them and adding things to it to make them like really cute. So that's why my mom went ahead and bought this exact playhouse because we're taking a lot of inspiration from this specific blog called the Porsche Place blog. This mom or this family, they actually use this exact playhouse that we got from Costco and they made theirs so cute. So we're taking a lot of inspo from them and kind of following along what they did. But there's tons of other inspo pictures and projects on Pinterest, Instagram. If you search cubby houses or playhouse revamp, people are taking all these like store-bought playhouses and just like customizing them. I originally thought that I would put this in the backyard and like have it be part of my landscaping and all this stuff, but it is winter right now, so it's kind of cold outside. We're not really spending a lot of time in our backyard right now and I kind of feel like it would be better to just have it up in her playroom. She has a whole playroom up there, we have space and I think that she will enjoy it and get more use out of it if it's you know up there indoors so we are going to be putting it in her playroom so again taking inspiration from all these like revamps that i've seen online i am going to be going for a modern farmhouse vibe with our revamp of course trying to kind of like match our actual house with the black and white with a touch of glam a touch of gold and we are going to be doing all of this in secret while zaya is either at school or taking naps or whatever because we don't don't want her to see it we don't want her to see the process we're trying to keep this a surprise for her for Christmas so hopefully we can get all this done and keep it a surprise but we'll see the different pieces are going to be painted different colors so we've got the windows which are gonna be painted black and some of the other like frame like accessory pieces so we're just gonna lay out all the pieces that are going to be painted black first So this piece of the house came already kind of halfway assembled, but we're taking it apart so that we can spray paint everything individually. It's much easier to spray paint all this stuff separately rather than trying to like tape it off and spray it while it's put together. This is so extreme. I feel like I'm about to go like graffiti. We got these little spray gun things to make it easier to do the spray paint. Gloves to protect the manicure. First impression, if you're doing anything with spray paint, get these little gun things, they make it so much easier. My mom is a genius. I'm not being forced to say that. Yes, I am. So all the black pieces are done on both sides. We're moving those out the way. I'm gonna flip over the tarp and then start working on the pieces of the house that we are going to paint white.
hands down. sure how or why I'm sure somebody out there is going to be a professional painter or something and let me know what I'm doing wrong but even with wearing these little masks I have spray paint that's like going right here on my nose and my mom has it on her too and actually like right here and right here like I feel like the mask is somehow making it worse so maybe these aren't the right masks Maybe don't listen to me. I'm gonna go wash my face immediately so that I do not have a reaction. Painting the plastic pieces black was pretty easy and worked out really well, but we soon realized that the spray paint wasn't going to work as well on the wooden frame. We ended up using my actual house paint that's on the exterior of my home and needing about three coats of it for all the white sections. So our decision is to just use the spray paint as a primer and use the house paint as the final top coat. So now I'm taking a brush with house paint and brushing that on. All right, day one progress. We spent five hours on it today. It's getting late, so we're calling it a day, but we did manage to paint all these black. They're dry now and they're looking really good. The white, mm, you know, we got a first coat on there. We're hoping it's gonna look better with another coat started to get a first coat on all these other pieces, but the paint was actually like kind of chunky and dried up. So we need to get some more paint tomorrow in order to finish out all of the white stuff. Then after that, we can move on to assembling stuff. All right guys, it is day two of this project. I just pulled up to, let's try that again. I just pulled up to Sherwin-Williams paint store to get more paint that we need. I have Zaya with me. We're trying to keep this whole thing a surprise. So we're kind of just like acting like, oh, we're just getting paint for something around the house. Oh, we're just like assembling some furniture. Like don't mind us, don't think anything of it. That way she's not really being nosy and not really understanding what we're working on. And then we're going to end up like putting a tarp over it once it starts coming together so that she doesn't see it and so that we can keep it a surprise. But as of right now, I don't think she really has much of an idea of what's going on. So we are in Walmart now and I have found the perfect little things, I think, to create some of the accessories, these numbers, and then these little chalkboard, it's like poster board. It says it's a chalkboard sign, so you can use a chalkboard marker on it. And this is like the perfect little size, I think, to create little signs. These are only like $2 each, and the pack of stickers is like $2 as well. My dad ended up coming over to help with painting, but since I had to wait for it to dry in between coats, I myself stayed up until about 3 a.m. painting all the pieces because I really wanted to be able to start assembling the next day. So I am literally just going to kind of pile everything up, scoot it out the way, just get it out of our way. I'm not gonna organize it. I'm not gonna go through all these toys right now. I'm not gonna like actually clean it. I'm just going to clear a space so that we can assemble this playhouse. I decided to move the couch to make space for the playhouse on that wall. I will also be rearranging and redecorating the rest of the room later on, like I said, to match the playhouse Montessori type vibe. So definitely stay tuned for upcoming videos about the rest of the room. Okay, so I'm going to lay out this tarp just to protect our surface. We may have like sawdust and little spots of paint that aren't completely dry. And we also may need to touch up some of the paint. So I just wanna make sure we have something laid out. behind me unscrewing the entire playhouse that we put together so far because I just realized that we basically did the very first step. We did it wrong. We did it backwards. 
So everything else we've done since then is backwards. And you can't finish the house with everything being backwards. So now we have to take everything apart. You weren't really paying attention. Look. The <laughs> only reason you caught it is because I told you to get off your phone, stop scrolling, and look at the instructions. Because, okay, look, this is an ongoing thing. You guys know my mom and I do a lot of projects and stuff together, and I do rely on her help and her knowledge and expertise, but there's an ongoing problem that we've had that my mom does not like to read instructions. <laughs> she likes to glance at the pictures and be like, oh, I know how it goes, and just do it without really paying attention to the details. And I'm always like, are you sure that's how it goes? She's like, yes, and we get into it because I'm like questioning her. So I started to just be like, okay, I'm not gonna say nothing. Soon as I don't say nothing, it's backwards. <laughs> this is just a little, you know, this always happens. Are we now finally making some good progress? Yes. <laughs> It is the end of day three, I believe. We made some good progress on building it. We are not done yet. We're gonna need another day to finish the assembly. But now it's time to go pick up Zaya from school. And we have to hide this because we're trying to make it a surprise for Christmas. So we're going to cover it with the tarp. Hmm. What's hidden under the blanket that looks I think, she <laughs> I think she's going to tell from the shape, but at least she won't be able to see what it actually looks like and see the details of it. So this is what we ended up with as our cover, put some stuff in front of it so she can't really access it. I put your toys back in the boxes. Is that okay? Hey, why did you put a house right there? A what? A big house. A big house? Where? Right there. I don't see a house. Yes. That's not a house. That's some furniture we just had to stack up under there because we're gonna put some different furniture in this room. Your toys are right here. Don't fool with this furniture. This furniture is stacked up really tall and it might fall on you, so. So you can't touch this, okay? Okay? <laughs> you look funny sitting in there. I just wanna let y'all know how hard it was to do touch up paint. I really tried my best to get all where the white meets the gray. I had to bring the paint up here and like paint certain parts that I didn't know were actually gonna be showing. I didn't bother doing the back cause you're not gonna be able to see it. It's gonna be pushed up to the wall. But like I had to paint all the edges of all this stuff and like touch up some areas that got messed up when we were assembling it. So painting was a doozy, but that's done. I think it looks good from the front and everything. This, our little DIY shelf is on half using the actual house pieces half using a shelf from walmart and now we are just adding the finishing pieces which are the door the windows need to be screwed on and like these little clock panels which i don't know why the house has to have 14 clocks Okay, so we finally finished assembling the house. It took a few days with help from my mom, like I said, trying to just work on it when Zaya's at school or taking naps, trying to keep it a surprise, keep it covered up with the tarp, but we got it all put together. And now it's time for the fun part, which is adding all of the accessories and extra custom features. So this is where you're able to have a lot of fun with it and mimic your real house or just create what you want this structure to be. So some things that I definitely want to add are adding 
lighting to the house. I wanna add some sort of LED lights to the inside and the outside of the house. Add some like lanterns, maybe some string lights because the house itself does not come with any lights at all. And then I also wanna add some sort of shelving or surface table, some sort of little furniture pieces in there. That way she actually has something to use and play with in there, whether she wants the house to be a regular house, a kitchen, a market, a you know, a grocery store type thing or a restaurant. I feel like she needs some sort of surface or little shelves that way she can put her grocery items on there or pretend like she's cooking. So I want to put something in there and not just have it be empty. But I also want to leave it somewhat blank so that she can play pretend and she can make the house whatever she wants it to be that day. And then I definitely want to add a lot of cute little details to the outside of the house. So like hanging little lanterns, putting like a planter with fake plants and and then have like a little sign hanging on there that says like cafe or market, a house number, just cute little realistic details on the outside of the house that's really gonna like pop it off. Okay, so the house is now fully built. I think this is day five of working on it and hopefully finishing it today. All the main pieces are put together, of course the main structure, and then all the windows and the little pieces like this, the mailbox, stuff like that but this is just the main structure. Now it is time to add all of the little accessories and little extra stuff that I ordered and bought separately to add our own flair to it and customize it. So over here I have the furniture pieces from Ikea that we got, the two black stools which I put together last night, and this little shoe shelf which I also put together. I also got this bathroom little shower caddy thing. As you can see on the packaging, that's kind of how you're supposed to use it, but I felt like it would be the perfect size to kind of add as a piece of furniture inside the house. And then it's gonna be like a bunch of little things that I add mainly to the outside of the house. So the first easy thing I'm going to do is just use these stickers. I'm gonna use these to create the house number and these I'm going to put mail across the mailbox and I had already spray painted the lid of the mailbox gold it originally came as red I probably should have painted the underside I can still go back and do that and then I think like right here I'm gonna put the house number and I think I'm going to make the house number her birthday okay so I think that's pretty decent I got the stickers on there somewhat centered them I'm cool with them for now I may end up changing them or taking them off now I'm going to move on to the little metal hooks that I got which are going to go on each corner of the house to be able to hold these lanterns that I got from Walmart. So that's the basic idea. And then I was gonna put one of the little LED puck lights inside each lantern so that they will actually light up. So I just gotta screw these into the house. with the screws so just screw those in I got these in the candle section at Walmart I think they're just supposed to be a little decorative candle holder so there's no glass or anything super lightweight so with these LED lights that I got off of Amazon they're just little puck lights they're powered by a remote and they actually change colors and stuff and they came with little stickers to put on the back of them and just kind of stick them wherever you want but they do take three AAA batteries each so basically my plan for the lanterns is to obviously put the batteries in there put the sticker on the back and stick them in like that so that the lanterns will actually light up with the remote and I will be placing these lights um, inside of the house as well like in the ceiling of the house so the house will just light up everywhere So these little decorative shelves that I got from Walmart, I don't think I'm gonna end up using these. I'm probably just going to return them. They're just little shallow shelves like this that I was gonna put two of them somewhere inside of the house. But with the addition of this little table thingy from Ikea, or really it's a shoe rack that I'm using as a table, and then this bathroom thing that I'm using as storage, I feel like these are better and I don't. I was gonna put the shelves right here, but it just kind of starts taking up too much space and being kind of cluttered in here. And I think these are better because they're completely movable and changeable if she ever wants to take them out or if she wants me to rearrange it in some sort of way. You know, let's say she's pretending that the house is 
a hospital and she wants me to pull the table into the middle like it's just more fun I think when you're able to kind of move the stuff around and customize it so I like just having this and this in here and you can kind of just put it wherever you want and do whatever you want with it instead of actually like attaching things to the wall in here I mean it's a small space so when you start attaching things to the wall, you start limiting your play options. I did also attach some of the LED puck lights, which by the way, I realized you can actually just press the light itself to turn it on, or you can use the remote. So I put one there, I put one on the other side, and then I put them in the corners of the house. She can turn those on herself by just pressing them, change the color of them by pressing them, also going along the same lines of wanting everything to be movable and customizable, I'm not actually going to screw the sink down anywhere. I think you're originally supposed to like screw it down onto this thing, which first of all, it doesn't really make sense to me why would you have a sink on the windowsill, but I'm just going to like kind of leave it like this to where again, like I said, if she wants this to be a sink countertop kitchen type thing, she can just have that here and play with it. If she wants to pretend it's something else, she can take it away and not have to have it on there. Okay, so I've added these little command hooks on all the points of the house here, 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 going all the way around. And I've got my string of the big bulb lights. These are just cuter than the regular like Christmas lights and they can be kind of all season instead of just Christmassy. But I'm just going to string these on to kind of the roof of the house. So now that all the finishing touches are on, we're done. Okay, so that is the finished playhouse. I'm super happy with how it turned out. It was definitely a labor of love. It took us, me and my mom, about a full week of working on it and trying to keep it a secret, like I said, but we were actually able to keep it a secret. Zaya has not seen it at all yet, and we're going to be keeping it covered up until Christmas, but I will be vlogging her reaction, so if you guys wanna see her reaction to the playhouse, definitely stay tuned for my next video.